the day we're taking a look at these NHL matches, which are happening on Wednesday, November 30, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes. Before we dive into our video, don't forget to subscribe and push that notification bell to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. Also, check out our perks and join the High Stakes membership. Joining the High Stakes membership is easy, is cheap, but it will help a lot in the growth process of this channel. Plus if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you, by becoming a member of the High Stakes Patreon, you will have access to our best team picks, total picks, parlay picks and much more. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting predictions that ends up costing you a lot of time and money. Join the HighStack.es Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Going back to our video we will give you two betting picks for each game, a team pick and a total pick based on facts and detailed explanation. So make sure to watch our videos till the end, so you don't miss any of our picks. Detroit Red Wings vs Buffalo Sabres. The Sabres have looked promising this season behind an offense that is scoring 3.68 goals per game, with 19 goals in the last four games. Tage Thompson, Alex Touch and Jeff Skinner have scored 34 goals and 38 assists to lead the top two lines, but the entire offense has been great. Casey Middlestad, Dylan Cozens and Victor Olofsson have combined for 22 goals and 20 assists, while defenseman Rasmus Dahlin has added 8 goals and 16 assists from the point to open up the offense. The Red Wings are having a promising season behind an offense that is scoring 3.19 goals per game, with 22 goals in the last 5 games. Dylan Larkin, Dominic Kubelik and David Perrin have scored 24 goals and 38 assists to lead the top two lines, but the rest of the offense has also been great. Adam Earn, Lucas Raymond and Andrew Kopp have scored 11 goals and 24 assists, while defensemen Philip Ronek and Moritz Seeder have added 8 goals and 21 assists from the point to open up the offense. The offense has been great, but the defense has struggled, allowing 3.05 goals per game, including 7 goals in the last two games. Philip Ronek and Ali Mata have combined for 3.3 defensive point shares, but the rest of the unit has struggled, allowing opponents to find open shots on the net at will. Moreover, goaltender Alex Netljkovic has been awful in the net with a .880 save percentage and a 4.01 goals against average on 217 shots. The Sabres are looking to bounce back from two rough losses and win the upcoming game and provide great odds in the process as road underdogs. The problem is that the Red Wings have shown flashes and look to step up on their home ice. The Red Wings, who average 3.19 goals per game, should create plenty of scoring chances with Dylan Larkin, Dominic Kubelik and the rest of the forward unit controlling the puck in the offensive zone and finding open shots with great puck movement to overwhelm a Sabres defense that allows 3.59 goals per game. The Red Wings should also limit the Sabres offense with Philip Ronek, Ali Mata, and the rest of the defensive unit, creating turnovers in the defensive zone and limiting shots on the net, allowing goaltender Alex Netljkovic to make plenty of big saves. The Red Wings should win the game with a strong performance on their home ice. Take the Red Wings' money line as home favorites. Buffalo has been very good on offense, but their defense has been below average and their goaltending has really struggled. The Sabres rank 28th in goals against per game and 17th in shots against per game. Buffalo scored four or more goals in five of their last nine games. They rank 4th in goals per game and 11th in shots per game. The Red Wings have been efficient on offense. They rank 14th in goals per game, but just 25th in shots per game. Detroit scored three or more goals in six of their last ten games. Both teams will have success on offense in this contest. This will be a higher scoring game and the over will hit. Take the over, 6.5 goals. Chicago Blackhawks vs Edmonton Oilers. The Oilers are having a promising season behind an offense that is scoring 3.36 goals per game, including 8 goals in the last two games. Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl have scored 30 goals and 42 assists as two of the league's best scorers, but the entire offense has stepped up this season. Zach Hyman, Ryan Nugent Hopkins and Warren Fagel have combined for 21 goals and 29 assists, while defenseman Tyson Berry and Darnell Nurse have added 7 goals and 18 assists from the point to open up the offense. 
the Blackhawks are having an awful season with their offense struggling and scoring only 2.48 goals per game. Patrick Kane, Max Domi, and Jonathan Tobes have scored 16 goals and 27 assists to lead the top two lines, but the rest of the offense has struggled. Only four skaters have scored five goals or more, while only four skaters have added six assists or more to the offense, and opposing defenses can easily eliminate the hapless offense as a result. The offense has been awful, but the defense has let the Blackhawks down this year, allowing 3.62 goals per game, with 32 goals in the last six games. Jake McCabe and Connor Murphy have combined for 2.2 defensive point shares, but the rest of the unit has struggled, allowing opponents to find open shots on the net at will. Furthermore, goaltender Petr Mrazek has been awful in the net, with a .878 save percentage and a 4.27 goals against average on 271 shots. The Oilers have turned a corner in their last two games and look to step up and control this game from the opening puck drop. The Oilers, who average 3.36 goals per game, should find the back of the net at will with Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl, and the rest of the forward unit carrying the puck into the offensive zone and creating open shots with great puck movement. The Oilers should also limit the Blackhawks' offense, which averages only 2.48 goals per game, with Darnell Nurse, Cody Ceci, and the rest of the defensive unit creating turnovers in the neutral zone and defensive zone and limiting shots on the net, allowing goaltender Jack Campbell to make plenty of big saves. The Oilers should win the game and cover the spread in a dominant win on the road. Take the Oilers minus 1.5 goals. Petr Mrazek will make his ninth start between the pipes for the Chicago Blackhawks. Mrazek is 1-5-1 on the season with 33 goals allowed. Mrazek carries a 4.28 goals against average with a .878 save percentage. Mrazek has allowed 18 goals over his last three starts. The Chicago Blackhawks are allowing 3.62 goals per game. The Edmonton Oilers head into Chicago riding a two-game win streak. The Oilers are fourth in the Pacific Division with a 12-10 record. Edmonton is 6-4 on the road this season and have won five of their last 10 games. The Oilers beat the Panthers on Monday 4-3 in overtime at home. The Edmonton Oilers are averaging 3.3 goals per game and are scoring on 29.3% of their power play opportunities. Connor McDavid leads Edmonton with 17 goals, Leon Dreisaitl has 20 assists, and Zach Hyman has 79 shots on goal. Defensively, the Edmonton Oilers are allowing 3.6 goals per game and are killing 73.2% of their opponents' power plays. Jack Campbell has allowed 45 goals on 361 shots faced, and Stuart Skinner has given up 30 goals on 371 shots. The Chicago Blackhawks are averaging 2.5 goals per game and are scoring on 21% of their power play opportunities. Jonathan Toews leads Chicago with 8 goals, Patrick Kane has 13 assists, and Max Domi has 40 shots on goal. Defensively, the Chicago Blackhawks are allowing 3.5 goals per game and are killing 73.9% of their opponent's power plays. Petr Mrazek has given up 33 goals on 271 shots faced, and Alex Stolak has allowed 16 goals on 187 shots. Jack Campbell will make his 13th start and goal for the Edmonton Oilers. Campbell is 7-5 on the season with 45 goals allowed. Campbell carries a 4.04 goals against average with a .858 save percentage. Campbell allowed three goals in his last start on 23 shots on goal. The Oilers are allowing 3.55 goals per game. Take the over 6.5 goals.